My girlfriend is pregnant and trying to induce a miscarriage. I have no idea what to do. She's drinking. Riding roller coasters. We live near Old Town in Florida. Starving herself and throwing up when she does eat. She plans to start working out excessively. We never wanted a kid but this is really scary. Advice. Ask whatever you want. It's a long story. Help her find a way to safely, legally get an abortion. The risk of miscarriage is 10-25% depending on where you look in the first 12 weeks from the first day of her last period. After that, it likely isn't going to happen. What she is doing isn't healthy. Can she not get an abortion where you are? Many places offer free ones. If you're not in a country that offers abortions, go to R. Abortions. They have links to websites that can help women get an abortion where it is not legal and what not. One place even mails a pill secretly. If she doesn't want one due to moral or religious reasons, what she is trying is basically the same thing. She is trying to abort the fetus. You both are just going to end up with a fucked up baby. Is it legal to have an abortion where you live? Look into Panned Parenthood. They should have programs to help with an abortion if you can't afford one. An at-home abortion can potentially cause issues later if you're not careful, which sounds like the case. She has access to abortion. She should use it. Ugh. Perhaps just go get an abortion. Stop dating her because she's a moron. Sorry. Okay well, I think you should go get a SHMA Schmorshen. Down at the SHMA Schmorshen Clinic. Call the mental health hotline. She should consider an abortion clinic. I might not be religious, but I don't think doing things to make an abortion happen by accident is any better than getting the procedure done. This is a little extensive, and it might just end up making a kid with lots of ailments and problems. A professional's help would be much more humane. She's going to hurt herself in the process. The safest thing to do is to get an abortion. I have a hard time understanding her rationalizing this. She really needs to talk to someone at a clinic. Please try to get her to at least call somewhere and talk to someone. I'd call emergency psychiatric help for her. She's rationalizing crazy, dangerous actions. Reading your comments. Dot how did you end up with someone so stupid? What's she gonna do if all fails and she starts showing a bump? Start driving recklessly in hope of causing an accident. Start falling onto randomly placed spiky objects. And if all that fails and she delivers the baby, is she gonna go all, well God proved to us this baby deserves life so. Or is she gonna trash it? Not only would I be steering her to an abortion clinic, I'd be re-evaluating this relationship in general. Report it to the police. Baker act her. In Florida if she is demonstrating behavior that is a danger to herself or others, they will put her in emergency care and get her some help. None of these things are going to cause her to miscarry but your child could be born with severe birth defects or developmental disabilities because of her actions. You two need to grow up and find a way to get an in-clinic or medical abortion. Obviously go to Planned Parenthood TF. But there is a veterinary medication called misoprostol that will cause miscarriages in humans but fucking go to Planned Parenthood or have a malnourished premature baby with fetal alcohol syndrome and deformities at best. Also, it's much more humane to have an abortion than to literally abusive a baby that didn't even ask to be born so. Just get an abortion. If she doesn't want it that is the best choice. OMG she could at least use safe herbal remedies if she's dead set on not going to a clinic. Drinking and exercising. That will not end well. Help her pay for an abortion before she ends up hurting herself. Call Planned Parenthood. They can help accommodate her with the pill first. Yes. The pills that can abort. And if that didn't work, then she could go and get the procedure done. As many have said, the age of her pregnancy is critical to know. Has she even seen an OBGYN about this? She could have an ectopic pregnancy which is life-threatening. In the first trimester, her behavior as described will very likely not result in a damaged fetus that survives, it will either survive intact or it will die. The first trimester is all or nothing. Perhaps that what she's banking on. Yet this is also the time when termination can be induced by medication. Please get her to just speak with an OBGYN about options. It's not a sin to ask for help. Doing this all on her own can potentially end very badly. Planned Parenthood or the equivalent.
She should just get an abortion sad face. The carcinogens are going to cause FAS for the baby loudly crying. She can get a pill that will abort the pregnancy. She's going to hurt herself. I think she forgot her child is developing inside of her. She needs to just handle this as safely as possible. Good luck to you both. If she's refusing an abortion then try having her drink mugwort tea as it can cause miscarriages. What she is doing is unhealthy and very much needs mental health counseling. I'm sorry you're going through a stressful time watching her do this. Please do your research on mugwort as well and find ways to ease her mind. Convince her that abortion won't send her to hell. How far along is she? Oh man. If it's early enough she can just take a pill to induce abortion. Maybe she's afraid of the invasive part of an abortion. A pill might be an easier out. I should say it's not easy. But it makes it seem less intense. She just needs to get an abortion FFS. Why not let the kid live and give it to someone who would love it? Not that hard. And next time, use birth control. Let her. It's her body. Her choice. Google stuff that will make her have a miscarriage. No offense but she would crazy. There are teas though that will get her to miscarriage or at least encourage it. But why? At that point get her abortion. I don't like abortion but let's say she does have this baby. It's gonna be a fucked up unloved kid. Perhaps you should talk to her about keeping the kid. Or having the child and putting it up for adoption. Plenty of people would love to have a kid. Holy damn. Religion makes idiots out of people. Every time I read something like this I wonder why people blindly follow religion. Jeez. Force her to abort. This kid is lost already anyway. It will have tons of defects and she clearly cannot be a mother. I don't blame her at all. I would abort without a second thought. She is most likely going to get a child with mental, physical problems. You'll need an abortion or adoption if the child is not wanted. I have worked with children who were born with an addiction to alcohol, drugs and it would be better if you fixed the situation now rather than later. I read somewhere on Reddit before there'd a way to have the abortion pill sent to you. If anyone can help with information that'd be great for these two. There was a post somewhere. A girl got pregnant at the age of 17 and didn't get an abortion instead tried to miscarry the baby. She drank, smoked, punched herself in the belly. In the end the baby was born blind. She's gonna have a disabled child. Can she get an abortion? If she doesn't want to then please take her a therapist ASAP. She could end up killing herself as well as the baby. She could end up having a severely disabled baby. This is a disaster op what she's doing will not work but will cause feral alcohol syndrome which could be devastating if she goes full term. Why is abortion not an option? There is either nothing here or just this link. Pregnant and also crazy. Find a way to get a safe and legal abortion ASAP. She hurting herself. Try this it might help. Best of lucky please get her help as soon as possible. If she isn't getting an abortion for religious reasons there are safer ways to increase the chances of miscarriage. Taking a lot of vitamin C and a tablets. Eating extremely spicy food are two safer methods. If she's set on this you can do your research and find much more safe ways to do this than what she is doing. But if you can, get it through her head that she's going to give birth to a severely fucked up baby, cause long lasting damage to her own body, or both. Also remind her that the Bible said nothing about abortions until the 1960s. This was also when they changed the Bible saying life begins at first breath to life begins at conception, when it was changed by the American government to control women's bodies. You have three choices. Have an abortion. Put the FAS child up for adoption. Or have a life with an FAS child. FASD is the only developmental disability that is completely preventable. And you'll put the protective adoptive family in a lot of hell. FAS kids are somewhat difficult. And they will need lifelong support. I have a friend with FAS. Out of the two. I'd recommend the abortion. Travel to a more permissible state if you must. I know abortion laws in America are a serious patchwork and full of holes. Next time, use protection and contraception. Pulling out is the least effective form of birth control. If she doesn't end up miscarrying she could end up with a child with a lot of birth defects or end up with physical issues herself where she may never be able to get pregnant again. Get an abortion holy shit or stop her dude WTF.
Please let your girlfriend know that she puts herself at great risk if she doesn't seek medical advice and treatment. If she decides on a planned abortion later on in the pregnancy it will take a greater toll on her body that she will not easily recover from. If she is too far gone in the pregnancy she will have no choice but to give birth and then it's conversations about motherhood or adoption which she will feel even more distressed about. Have a sit down with her and explain that what she is doing is nothing different than an abortion, because she is forcefully trying to kill the baby in a horrible way. I had an abortion a month ago, so if your girlfriend wishes to speak to someone with the same experience you can always send me a message.